Hello there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm reviewing WDA. This was the Stock Swoosh Show live play of the day on Friday. It was a good gap. It was a bearish gap down. We shorted it, and actually, I said the dream tar. I said I said 210 was the target on this if you wanted to hold it, and then I said the dream target possibly could be 205. So once it started to go. It got to literally every single number, and you could have done this into the close. The market sold off into the close on Friday. That's not the reason that this worked so well. Um, but I did say before I shut the room out, I said 210. 210 is likely for this today. It got to 209.38. Actually, the low one, I think it did get to 209. Hold on. 209.05, it did get to. Wow, can you believe that? 358. What a nice gap. So for those of you that don't know what I do, I look every day to try to find the best stock to trade, uh, whether long or short, but I do prefer to short, and, and, and this was a great short, and exactly exactly what I wanted, and, and really a great way to end the week. This closed up here at 2.30.08 the night before Thursday, and opened in the morning at 2.22. So I have a rating system that I rate the gap. The gap is where the stock is opening in the pre-market, or it could be the post-market. And then that helps me determine whether this is a long or a short. And in this case here, I knew it was a short. So the, here's the 15-minute chart. You can see how this dropped. We got in this pretty early on Friday. Got the drop, beautiful exit right in here, but you could have done any number of late plays in this. And again, as I was saying, this closed near the lows, went all the way down to 209.05. So from tip to tail, this is an insane move, 222 and change to 209. Wow. But this stock can move. I mean, you can see the bars over here. Look at this green bar here. This was like $15 plus. So this is really, you know, this was earnings. So when you have something that's earnings, you're normally looking for a big bar if, in fact, it is a quality gap per my rating system, which this was. Uh, there was a bunch of earnings this past fall that really were what I consider nothing gaps. They really didn't do anything right at all, um, and we did not play them. And some of them were in big names that you would have known. So this was the only thing really with this is that it was a little bit spready. But again, when you have a price point over $200, you will have a spread. This was a fantastic move. We pretty much got as much as we possibly could have it. We had almost a low, well, we did have a low of the day morning at, at exit. Um, let me just go over here. We didn't get a low of the day exit because I didn't hold it all day, but we had the low of the day morning exit. We, we got this here, shorted it, and got out right all the way down in here. I mean, it literally was a perfect exit for the morning. But like I said, you could have been all day. That does not happen all the time. I do prefer to trade fast in the morning. That's what this was. So really excited about what's going to happen in December. I think the market's going to have a lot of action. I think we're going to get a lot of nice shorts and in, in some things that will be earning, some things that will be news-related gaps. Some things will be with the market. Um, and we may have even see some quality longs. But this was a short. And the next and the last class for 2020 is December 12th and 13th, if you want to learn my system. Um, the class is $69.99. It's a full weekend. All day Saturday, all day Sunday, 9 to 5 Eastern Time, one hour break for lunch. If you're interested, email me at melissa at the stock uh, This was a great trade in the room. Have a great weekend, everyone.